assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel i be all designing developer my name is inshal bek i am a full stack developer and graphic designer like in previous class we have learned some topics and some projects related to python and i hope you all enjoyed my previous video and you all also enjoying my all previous videos like i done it in uh, previous like now i am doing my new video in which i will tell you that how to make one alarm clock with python and i hope you will all enjoy this class and like this class also so i hope you will understand it now we will start with our class now first of all you have to open your text editor what you have okay i have pycharm text editor so i will open it you can open it from here also and from windows r also okay like i show you pycharm like this if you also open like this you can see there is no because uh, i don't write the name correctly okay now when you will open it okay just open it from here again now when you will open it so you can see this now my it is open now you can see this all how it is looking really cool okay you can see my text editor now if you want to take new file from here you have to go to your project okay now when you go to your project just click right click on here okay now go to new and python file okay take python file then give it the name of your file then it will be saved as the name and it will be come over top okay now when it is done now down you can see this run tab okay this is called console like i tell you in first class like this is called console when you write any code here you will run your code here okay so now we will start with our first code okay first you have to do like for uh, making a alarm clock you have to first type this code like import import and you have to write here date time just write correctly date time okay you can see when we write import date time this date time tag is really important to write because from this our alarm clock will work if we don't write this so it will not work okay just run it so you can see this nothing is here because we haven't defined anything from here okay now when it is date time is done it also be happened that this date time tag is not downloaded in your computer or in your text editor okay for downloading it you have to do like just go to terminal and now from here you have to do like just write here pip and you have to pip install and here you have to do like pip install and write here date time okay your tag name now from here you can see rec requirement already satisfied okay so our requirement we already satisfied because i have already downloaded it in my pc so because of this our requirement is already satisfied okay so if you type it or enter it so it will uh, keep installing if your computer or net is really fast so it will work really uh, cool okay so when you will download it so we will start with our tags okay first of all you have to type another tag which is really important right you have to write alarm write here alarm r because when we are uh, when we are working with alarm clock alarm r and alarm minute is really important to write okay just write here alarm r just is equals to now here you have to do like just write in it and you have to write here input tag okay just write here input tag okay when it is done you can see this in it or input tag these are really important tags in python like we work the in this both tags we work in every python class like in our first tutorial of 40 minutes then in second third and fourth tutorial also okay so now we are working it with in alarm clock i hope you understand this in it and input function are really important okay now just you have to take it and now here you have to do like just write here like the hour do you want and here you have to write do you want to wake up okay means that in what hour you want to wake up okay now when it is done just you have to press enter here now we will write like we have written here alarm r now we will work with alarm minute okay now write here alarm minute okay just write here alarm minute and now we will work with this in it and input function like i tell you these are really important function in python and this keeps really importance in python with working okay or it is also really important in projects of python big big projects like we see that in companies these are really important functions from here okay now just here you have to do again take new 
new and here you have to do like just take new parentheses and now here you have to write two string when it is done just you have to do like just write here the minute you want to wake up like this now just like question mark here okay it is a question we are telling just also here you have to write question mark okay now when it is done just go ahead and write here like am or pm because we want our alarm clock in am or pm so we will type here am or pm now just you have to do like just write equal to here and now here you have to write str tag okay it is also keep really importance in python you also have to write this tag because we have worked with this tag like in our first class we have worked with matlib's game in in with this tag okay i hope you understand now just come over here write input tag again now here you have to do like just write here am or pm am or pm means that you want your time or in am or you want your time in pm okay so it will tell you just you have to write pm or am so it will uh, tell you the time now when it is done you have to do like just come over here write if and now here you have to do like if am pm now you have to write two equal to okay now here you have to write pm okay you can also write am but i will write pm okay here when you write pm now just you have to write this two semicolon here now here you have to do like just write here alarm hour because we want our clock in hour and minute so we will write alarm hour again okay now when it is done write plus 12 because 12 is a uh, because 12 is a last digit in clock okay so because of this we are writing it now when it is done just you have to do like just now here you have to press enter now come over here and write here while okay we will write this while tag like we work this while in like in we have worked it in uh, while loops in nested loops so it also keeps really importance in python just run over here so you can see this giving error because we have not defined anything and there is a this line coming okay so means that it is a error now you have to write here like one equal equal one okay when you have written this just run from here okay so again error now you have to just write semicolon again now come over here right if you have to write alarm hour again now just two equal to again write date time here dot date time because we are defining date time two times like here we have defined date time here here so it is total three times we are defining that okay now date time again now you have to write now and this now just dot here and now here you have to do like just write here like hour and end this end is also really important and we have written because we define this hour alarm hour now we have to define an alarm minute also okay like we have written alarm hour and alarm minute so we will define alarm minute also now when you write and and now just come over here and write alarm and you have to write alarm minute okay alarm minute is done just write equal to again date time again okay date time again dot date time again okay now just when you done it just you have to write dot now again now just like that you have to do this now write here dot hour again no dot hour not because we have defined dot hour here okay but now we will define dot minute here okay we will define dot minute because we are defining here dot minute so we will write here dot minute and now here you have to write semicolon this is really important to write because if you don't write it python will give you syntax error okay so it is really important to write now just press enter here now here you have to do like just write print and i will write here like wake up lazy okay now come over here and write break tag we are writing this break tag because it breaks this all sentence and now we write any code we are not writing it in this tag okay it is an different and different code okay just come over here and write print again now here you have to write excited okay now when it is done you have to do like just when it is done now here you have to do run over here okay when you run it so it is asking the hour do you want to wake up okay the hour we want to wake up like we will want to wake up in hour of 7 okay 7 and now we will write here 42 okay because in my watch there is 742 so i will write 42 and am or pm so my is pm so i will writing it pm okay now you can see there is coming wake up 
lazy because the 42 is here okay the time 42 is worth now here 7 now here you have to do 43 and now here you have to write pm okay now when you write pm so you can see 743 is not ahead so because of this the wake up lazy and this excited is not coming okay so you can see there is many seconds left in it like i show you now you can see this all code these are really important and these are really keep importance in python okay so from this you can take your alarm clock or make your own alarm clock like uh, you can also use it in python projects or in your company projects but these codes are really important please move ahead with uh, me because these codes if you miss anything from it you can't work correctly okay like now you can see 743 is so our work wake up lazy and excited is come okay you can also write time in am if you want to i am not writing in am because my is in pm if i write time in am my it will be really many hour that i have to uh, wait okay so because of this i am writing pm and my time is pm like i will show you another example like the hour do you want to wake up now write 7 now the minute now we will write 44 because 44 not ahead now just write am or pm pm again now just wait ahead now it will tell you that uh, what will come here it will come like wake up lazy and excited okay I hope you all understanding it like this alarm hour we have defined here we also defined it and date time we have also defined out now like we defined this date time four times here and one time here the total is here five times okay now you can see this 744 is and now here there is coming wake up lazy excited so because 744 is ahead so because of this wake up lazy and excited is coming okay let's check it one more time here 44 just run it again 7 now here you have to write 45 now pm so we will check it last time that it is working or not like i tell you that this codes are really important this also is really important am or pm because we have also want to tell that we want our time or am or pm so we have also defined this tag okay so we have also defined this plus 12 because we want our time in plus 12 okay now it is now coming just 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 and this is 45 so you can see this wake up lazy and excited is again coming i hope you understand that how to make one alarm clock in python and i hope you also enjoyed this project like you are all enjoying my you all enjoying my previous videos also so i meet you in i will meet you in second class so for today good bye